Number two, we're going to sketch a graph uh, of this function here, this f of t function, as a transformation of a toolkit function. Okay, so um, in order to identify our toolkit function, we just have to recognize something um, familiar in the form of the formula, basically. And the key thing in this one is just that we have an exponent of 2. So that just means that our, our uh, toolkit function, or our parent function we're going to use, is basically like our x squared graph kind of thing. Okay, so like our normal parabola. So um, let me just graph that right now so we can see what's going on. So we have, here's like t in this case, okay, because we have working with t's now. All right, so this is um, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we have something like this, all righty. And um, so our normal graph, our normal x squared graph, or t squared in this case, would look like our, our usual u, okay? Let me just graph that real quick. So here's our u. Okay, and it goes up like that and opens upward. Okay, so this is our normal x squared or t squared or whatever you want to call it. Okay, and then for this one, we have to figure out, according to our formula, what does this tell us? What, how is our graph being transformed? Okay, so the easiest thing to see is that, well, we have this negative 3 being tacked on to the end. So that means we have a vertical shifting, vertical shifting. Okay, and this means down 3. Okay, because there's no real like confusion about signs um, for vertical shifting or for vertical anything really. Okay, and then on the inside, we see that this plus one is attached directly to the t, to our input, right? So that means there's something going on there, and it's actually that t is, um, we're subtracting a negative one from t, okay? So this means that negative one is actually our h. That's the that's how much we're shifting our graph horizontally. And negative one, a negative answer, means that we're going to the left. So this means a shifting left uh, by one unit, okay? So what we have to do for each of our points is go to the left one and down three, okay? So for example, our origin, our new origin, would be at negative one, negative three, okay? Let's do the same thing with this one. So negative one, one, now goes to negative two, negative two, okay? Uh, our positive one, positive one goes to zero, and then uh, negative two. Okay, and then we shift everything else. So then uh, two, four would go to, uh, sorry, negative two, four, would become negative three, and then a one. Okay, and our positive two, four would become a positive one, and then a three. Okay, so now our graph looks like this. It has the same shape because we didn't stretch or compress it or reflect it or anything, all we had to do was shift it in this case to the left one and down three, okay? So this is our new uh, f of t graph down here. Mm -hmm.